Hey guys, EJ here with another Jailbroken iOS Tech video. So, starting off this video, you'll notice that I brought up Notification Center on my iPhone 4. I just want you guys to see that on an iPhone 4, the Notification Center is not blurred, and also when you go out of Notification Center, the background doesn't have the parallax effect like on an iPhone 5 or something. So today, for a video, I'm going to be showing you guys with iPhone 4s how to get the parallax and blur effects on iOS 7 on your iPhone 4. Um, your iPhone 4 will need to be jailbroken. So, going into Cydia, you will need a tweak called iPhone 4 Parallax. And basically what this tweak does is exactly what the title um, says. Grant your iPhone 4 on iOS 7 the ability to get the parallax effect when you move your phone. Um, on the home screen and also your notification center and your control center multitasking all that um, will have the blur effect so it's not this ugly white everywhere um, so you will need this also you will also need to get a tweak called hidden setting 7 which you can get from the big boss repo for free so once you install all of this iphone 4 parallax and hidden uh, and hidden setting 7 <laughs> um, go into hidden setting 7 bring it up and right here you're going to notice a bunch of menu items you're going to go you're going to want to go to the one that says parallax so go tap on that and when you scroll to the bottom you'll notice a new section called iPhone 4 parallax which is what um, that iPhone 4 parallax tweak adds um, to hidden setting 7 so right here you have enable parallax and enable blur so what you are going to want to do is just enable all of those and immediately you're going to see that when I do done and I go into my notification center oops sorry not camera not camera okay when I go into my notification center it is blurry and it has that little that nice effect that the background is blurry um, I don't know if you can notice in the video but when you enable blurs um, bl you'll notice the blurs um, almost immediately when I go into my multitasking switcher you'll see that it's not all white anymore um, it's tinted um, and blurred to be the background's color. So this is really nice. Now the one thing that you do need to do in order to get the parallax effect is respring your device. Um, unlike the enable blurs where you can just enable it and then your blurs will um, show up like right here. Um, you are going to need to um, respring your device in order to um, enable the parallax effect once you enable it in um, hidden setting 7. So what I am going to do is I'm going to respring my device right now. So we will just wait for this. All right, guys. So my iPhone has rebooted. I'm going to put in my passcode really quick. And if you can notice really closely, I have the parallax effect on my iPhone you'll see that the background is moving. Um, this is not something my iPhone 4 on iOS 7 had before. So now you have the amazing parallax effect on your iPhone 4, guys. Um, just looks amazing. Gives it that, with the parallax effect, just gives it that complete iOS 7 look. I'm not sure why Apple removed the parallax effect for iPhone 4 users, but um, uh, there was probably a good reason for that. Maybe it's because the iPhone couldn't handle um, all that memory and RAM being used. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the video. I showed you how to enable the blurs. Um, the blurs and the parallax effect on iOS 7 for iPhone 4 users. So hopefully um, this video was helpful for you guys with iPhone 4s out there. Um, enjoy your new parallax and blur effect, guys.